need no stinking rest. More 3x3 to be played as we are right back at it on the heels of the Europe Cup. We are here in Constanza, Romania for the very first time as we welcome you to the ninth Masters stop of this 2023 campaign. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice of 3x3, in your ear. Cosmin Petrescu, Vincent Royer on the mic. We got a couple of goats out there MC in this thing. The weather is perfect here at the City Park Mall. The atmosphere is set for history first time ever here in constanza i've had uh, so many great events here in romania before but but never a world tour masters so here we are now there's the the legends i was telling you about mc vonson Roy. clap your hands clap your hands and cosmin petrescu long time long time 3x3 lifer they're going to keep this place nice and energized, lit. The vibe is right. We got DJ Lass on the spin. So, look, everybody's in place. Everything's set up for this to be an outstanding event. Trust me and believe me. Uh, there's DJ Lass. There's this moment in the sun. Look at those. Yeah. I got to get my, I got to step my glasses games up like, like DJ Lass. He got those Cartiers over there representing France. All right, now that everybody's been introduced, let's reintroduce you to the rules of 3x3. Kyle, take it away. Welcome to the world of 3x3, baby. It's an exciting new brand of basketball. You got two teams of three players on the court, and you got one player sitting on the bench here with me. Playing on the half court with one rim with the official 3x3 basketball made especially for the fast-paced outdoor game. The first team with 21 points is your winner or the team with the most points after 10 minutes. You have just 12 seconds on the shot clock and the clock is ticking, baby. Anything inside the arc is worth one point while anything outside the arc is worth two. I do, baby. And once you score, the ball doesn't stop. Offense turns to defense just like that. It's a 10 minute sprint. It's a 10 minute sprint. Breathe easy. We're going to start with uh, a qualifying draw action today. Six teams competing in the qualifying draw before we get to the main draw, where the 12 top teams will compete for a chance at the quarterfinals and ultimately a chance at 40 bands, $40,000, if you don't understand my slang. If you don't understand how, how this season has gone so far, here's a look for you. Oob won the first Six masters of the season. Historic run for them. Came to a halt in Lausanne where, Anst where Antwerp top desk got their first masters win of the season. Followed by our most recent masters winner, which was Raudan Varis Hoptrans, who got it done in Debrecen. So we don't see Uquishan N.E. here at a masters for the very first time in 2023. Our two previous Masters winners obviously are here. So here are all the squads, Antwerp top desk, Rondon Bowers, Hop Trans, those two teams that I mentioned as we take a look at a race to the final. We're, this is the official midway point of the season, by the way, y'all. This is master stop number 9 of 18. You can see the teams that are in contention. Only the top 12 will play in the World Tour Final. So we, we got a lot of unfinished business. But we're getting there. An historic season. Speaking of history, we, uh, we just wrapped up the Europe Cup in Jerusalem. I want to give a big congratulations again to our medalist, Serbia, who win their sixth straight European title. Lithuania with a silver. And Latvia with a bronze, thanks to Batman's 15-point outburst. That was the men's competition. As for the women, shout out to the Lady Orange Lions. Netherlands take their first gold at the Europe Cup, followed by Spain with silver and Lithuania earning a bronze. Okay, enough about them. That was then. This is now. Qualifying draw action in your face. Our top two team, well, yeah, the top team from each draw will uh, head to the main draw and uh, compete in Pool C with Raudan Bowers Hop Trends. 
All right. So this is this is like an elimination bonus round, I guess you could say. They'll play this like a championship. You don't come out of the qualifying draw. You don't play for forty thousand dollars. Our first two teams will get us started: Utrecht and Ostro BM. We got a couple of. Uh, of legends, 3x3 legends making their return to the court here in Constanza. The first is on Ostro BM. You'll get a chance to see him in just a minute. Nice crowd starting to gather. I made some new friends out here. Always great host here in Romania. Let's get a look at Utrecht first. Why not? Fellas out of the Netherlands, had an outstanding Utrecht uh, Masters last year. Haven't seen a lot of this team this year. As a matter of fact, haven't seen them on a world tour. But we have seen them compete in the Challengers. Eight Challengers this year, but uh, they have not appeared on the big stage. Will they do it this time? We're going to find out. Euronymous Vanderlis, the skyscraper. He's a footer, as you can see. Leno Vitovic, Nesta Agassi, and Alushei Adotuni. They come in as the seventh seed. Always tough to play the first game of the day. Fresh out of bed. They're going to have to shake out the cobwebs and get to it. As the Dutch take on the Bulls here to open things up. So out comes Ostro BM out of Poland. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. Money is back. Is it going to pay dividends is the question. Michael Money in the Bank Hicks, the Polish Olympian. And World Cup bronze medalist leads his squad out with Thomas Davis, TD, Prism Slaw, Sloan Rescue, and Peter Karpaz. So this team qualified uh, via the SBA 3X3 Tour Quest. Had to fight their way just to get to this qualifying draw. Austro BM. They got the goods, though. And we got a couple of good officials, too. Najib, Vlad, hello, sirs. They'll get us started here in this qualifying draw. But I mentioned, obviously, you can see Michael Money in the Bank Hicks is back. Our first time seeing him play at a pro uh, event in 3x3 since, since the uh, Olympics. So it's been a, been a couple of years. 40 years old. He tells me he's still got plenty in his bag and he got some reinforcements. He's going to have to be ready for it. This young fella right here, 23 years young, Nesta Agassi. Athletic, long, good perimeter defender, gritty under the bucket, but it's only one money. Money in the bank. Bronze medals again at the World Cup 2019. Uh, a legendary performance against Serbia in that bronze medal game. If you have not seen it, go back and watch it. You got to know your 3x3 history, kids. Money's been one of the most prolific scorers in the game. Question is, how much does he have left in the tank? Got, again, some some talent around him, too. Thomas Davis, 6'6", six six, athletic. New ads in Prism Slaw, uh, Slonewski. Big body, also. An athletic frame, we'll see. Utrecht with uh, a lot more experience. Speaking of this year, I don't know about overall experience, but they've certainly been the more active team. Played well at the Claremont for our challenger, did Utrecht. Finishing fourth, so made it to the semis there. A few more quarterfinal bursts in Baoding and Huishan Wuxi challenger. Yi Shang challenger, but again, they have not performed at the level that they would have hoped. Let's get it on. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice of 3X3 in your ear. Money in the bank. Cash already. 2-0 Ostro BM. Leno Vinovin, 
Drives to the bucket. Got a nose for getting to the rim. Money will swing it. TD assessing the D. Nearly threw it away. Hicks, the shovel pass, sets up the score. And a nice start for Ostro BM. Pietro Carpaz with that bucket. He's 25 years old. So a mix of uh, veterans and, and youth, I should say. There we go. 3-1. Oh, beautiful pass. Oh, take that back, sir. Foul's called on Davis. He initially had it clean, but I think on the follow-through, there was contact. So that'll put Nesta Agassi on the line. Trailing by two points here early. Agassi, too strong. And he's too tall. Agassi, not done going to the cup. Attacks Thomas Davis again. This time he gets the bucket. Money setting up on the left wing. TD sets the screen. Money with the snatch back. That one was broke. I want to thank our ball sponsor, Wilson, our official timekeeper, Maurice Lacroix. Our global partners, Chooks to Go, as well. So, foul call, which is the fourth on Ostro. They'll reset Agassi. They want to get it down to the post. Vanderlis is a big mixed mismatch. Literally and figuratively, seven-footer after the jump hook. The game is even at three apiece. Money, stroke one, stroking. It's cleaned up on the inside. It's Stonewski, puts him up by one. Not for long. Up fake. Oh, why you playing? Why you playing? Six three. Money's got his own cheering section here in Constanza. How? Oh, fading to the right. Measurements were off. Wilson back over in Money's hands. Again, one of the game's most prolific scores. Davis, oh, get your weight up. Get your weight up. Spin move makes it 7-3. to three. And Utrecht need a, need a spark here to get back in it. But a lightning fast start for Ostro. Not even two minutes in. And scoring at a high clip. Hicks is going to get a, a rest as Vinovic. It's the Leno show. The Leno show. He will let it fly. Leno, no. He'll miss it left. Got a foul on the interior. Utrecht, one thing working in their favor is the fact that they don't have any fouls. They trail about two possessions, though. The Leno show. They'll swing it up top. Oh, nice in and out. Adetunyi swings it over, but Agassi, after the miss, will try to defend. Pass is broken up. Adetunyi swings it over. The Leno show. Got him on the fake. Oh, got it batted. Nearly cleaned up, but too strong on the follow. Leno will reset. They'll hand it over. Adetunyi. Adetunyi. Oh, look at that. Spo, but... Oh. A million dollar move and a two cent shot. His balance is off. Davis, oh, that's a grown man bucket. What a finish underneath. Eight to three, Agassi will respond. Eight four, pass a little long. Not even, we haven't even reached the TV timeout. That's coming at the next dead ball after seven minutes. Quick move. Last time they didn't work out. Oh, what a beautiful tip right there. Man. So now it's time for the TV timeout. Utrecht have started to make a way back into this game. They've had to deal with uh, Hicks hitting a couple of two balls. Thomas Davis with a tough bucket on the inside. Stonewski and Karpaz contributing as well. And again, two qualifying draw groups. 
The winner of each group will move on to the main draw where they have Raul Donvaris Hop Trans waiting. The winner of our most recent Masters in Debreson just two weeks ago. The Leno Show to the hoe. Yeah. TD, he's driving, floating. 9-6 is the result. Leno, no, not that time. Man, what you gonna do with the skyscraper? He's up in the clouds. That one's stolen. Good defense. Agassi, ball fake, drops it off. Vanderlis, e oh, it, whoa, should have been easy, but he'll get it back. Davis with the snatch back. Nah, bruh. Stays a one-point game. Utrecht fighting, clawing, scrapping their way back into it is Leno. He wants a screen to Leno. Jay is no good off of uh, Agassi. Ball over to the Poles. Another bit of housekeeping. Of course, we want to thank our official suppliers as well. Outstanding venue here. Not too far off the Black Sea. Magic Sky. In Leo, by the floor, Skelter Sports, and Baudet. Loft, lofted pass is recovered and scored. For some slaw with a nice touch. Ostro just holding off Utrecht. But for how long? They're getting is what they want on the inside. Agassi didn't even leave his feet on that last shot. That was money. You know that shot is going up. Does not go down. Hicks. Top of the key now. Wants to get it down low. Oh, he's a bruiser. But he's got to finish it. Leno's not having it. He does get whistled for the foul. That is the first. The first foul on Utrecht. With 5.18 to go. There's that Agassi score. So at the line, can Carpaz make it count? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. It's a two-point game. Vanderlis. Oh, my goodness. Vanderlis got his shot swatted. Got a wide-open look. Agassi. That was from further back than my hairline. 11-11. We might be twins. <laughs> Another look at the... Inspection and rejection. It's not often you're going to see Vanderlis get blocked. He's in rare air up there. Money is going broke.
Delic. Oh, he missed the dish. But he did finish it at the end. Agassi, it's a beautiful pass. He messed up the highlight reel, 14 to 13, as we head into our second TV timeout. Another look at the pass. Wow. So, what's up? What's up, y'all? It's been such a long time since I got a chance to talk to y'all. How y'all been? Man, we haven't had 3x3 in what? 48 hours? <laughs> Pack full season. That last day at the Europe Cup was, was incredible. Did y'all watch the, the men's final in particular? That, that Serbia-Lithuania game was crazy. Classic, I think. We'll talk about it another time. We got business to handle. All right, let's refocus, y'all. Here we go, 14-13. Show me the money! Hicks with the two-piece combo with the foul. Reminiscent of that 2019 bronze medal game. Drew a foul late, hit it. He connected on the free throw then and earned a bronze for Poland right now. Oh, my goodness, Gates the slap. All five fingers on that, 16 to 13, TD. He'll miss that, recovered. Jump hook off the window. Mwah. Little kiss and a decent lead as Utrecht Trying to respond. If, if you're Utrecht here, no need to panic. But he puts the D in disrespectful. We need an air pump now. 17-13 as we get back to it. Good defense there from Vanderlis as he pokes it away. Now it's Agassi's turn. He'll swing it up top. The Leno show. Uh-oh. Man down. But they couldn't land it. Money. He's got Leno on him. Gives it over to Davis. Davis makes the move on the baseline. Davis to the crib. Back out to a five-point game. And Vanderlis is going to cool things down a little bit. That's a bucket that should calm his team. Two possessions, but just two bucks left in this one. Money drops it off. Gets tied up. Gets it back. Up fake. And was locked up. Good defense there from Vanderlis. Leno will get a good look. Oh, but Leno can't hit it. Agassi keeps it alive. Here come Utrecht. They're not dead yet. Agassi from the corner. Two up. He misses it. Vanderlis is there for the tip, though. Hicks sets the screen. Davis has had an impressive game so far. He's made some tough shots. Does not make that one. Look at that board and score. Goodness. That was snatched by Prism Slaw Stonewski. Oh, he lost him. Somebody sent him a location. Please. Shoulder fake. Hook. 16-19. Money from deep range. No, sir. Leno. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Right between the eyes of Davis. It's 19 to 18. Ostro BM with a minute to go. Hicks trying to get some space. And he's going to get the foul drawn on Vanderlis, which is a sixth. Timeout for Ostro BM. Been a pretty good game, man. You Qualifying draw game. Credit Utrecht for continuing to fight back in this game. They trail by five early. Then they trail by five late. And they managed to trim it down to one. Game like this is anybody's. And when you're gassed, a minute of game time seems like an eternity. Minute three left as we bring you the action from Constanza for the first time. Here we go now. TD making his move to Money. Money. Not that time.
That's the starts the possession. Leno is getting good looks. Oh, Leno is heating up. His team is now up by one. 42 seconds to go. Hicks with the rock. Money. No. Missed it. One point is all Utrecht need. 30 seconds to go. Leno down low. Pass is deflected. Ostro can go for the win or a tie. It looks like Money wants to try to win this one. Up fake. Money off the mark. I think Ostro probably could have went for a one-point score there. Now Utrecht are going to use some clock if they storm as they've stormed from behind to take the lead. Leno can just go ahead and put it to bed. He doesn't. They'll get one last look. No, they won't. 20 to 19, Utrecht will come from behind. A gutty, gutty win by the Dutch. Who again found themselves down by five early, down by five late. Continue to grind and they, they come out with a one point win. So, Ultrax in the driver's seat after one game. Nobody's safe. We got a lot more qualifying draw action on the way. That's a hell of a way to start the day, I would say. Back at the highlights on this one. Tough buckets from Thomas Davis on the inside driving. Tough buckets as well from uh, Prism Sloss, a slow new school. When he brought to that Ostro BM team, the Vanderlist was a constant terror. If he, was, if he wasn't scoring, he was tipping in his teammates' misses. Has some delectable dishes in this one. Not finished cleanly, but at the finish of it, Utrecht in front again by one. As we will, uh, we'll take a two-minute break before we get back to the action. Our next qualifying draw game will feature Wuhan and Biololeka Isetia. Oh, I got to work on that in the break. Somebody help me, help me please, help me please. We're back in just over a minute. Iar doar prima se califică mai departe. Doar prima echipă din fiecare grupă se califică în următoarea fază a competiției. Am avut deja un meci decis la un singur punct atât de intensă. Este competiția aici la Constanța. Primul meci, un singur punct diferent. A fost 2019 pentru Utre din țările de jos, care a reușit să treacă de Ostrov din Polonia. Și să ia o primă opțiune în vederea calificării pentru grupele principale care încep la ora 16 și 20 de minute. Toate meciurile din grupele principale se vor desfășura pe parcursul acestei zile. Mâine sunt programate meciurile eliminatorii și între ele finalele la turneul final Sport Arena Stream Bowl 2023. Welcome to the World Tour.
Alright, welcome back. So many beautiful faces already here enjoying the action at the City Park Mall. What a start. And what a win for Utrecht in our first qualifying draw game over Oslo Bill. Now we can look at Wuhan and I really didn't get a chance to practice. Bialo Leka Isetia. Y'all let me know if I'm saying that wrong. Don't judge me. All right, judge me. Fine. All right, Wuhan. With Moran Wan. Kian Hao Yu. Simiao Yu. And we just saw one 3x3 legend pioneer. Here's another one. I think maybe the most underrated player to ever play the game. That is Marco Savage. Four times World Tour final winner. A world champion. A European champion. He is one of the most decorated players to ever play the game. I'll give you his full resume later, but we got other people to introduce you to. Bieloleka <laughs> Isetia, also out of Poland, with Damien Sesniak, Jan Pinaschuk, Christian Kuznuk, and Michael Wojtyniski. Or Wojtyniski. There we go. So here they come in the black. Your 16 seed. Haven't competed in a qualifying draw or anything up to this point this season. We've seen Wuhan several times, never at a Masters. Played pretty well too at the Yisheng Challenger. Finished third in that tournament. But they want to get on the big stage and have a chance to play for $40,000. And, and of course, gain 100 tour points. That puts you in a good place to maybe play in the World Tour Final. So Najib Shadaheen. Vesco's back. What's up, Vesco? If I seemed a little bit distracted there, y'all didn't see, y'all didn't see, but a, a bee had landed on my face. I'm scared of bees. They might need to be fearful of Marco Savage back. Again, four-time World Tour final winner. He's made his move to Wuhan. A good long time, no beside goat. Still got plenty in his bag at 36 years old. Keep an eye on this young man, too. Jan Pilischuk. He's 23. I've heard some good things about his game. Have not seen a lot of them. That's because I'm spending most of my time on the world tour, and he ain't been there. So here we go. Here we go. Let's get back to it. So I say that a lot. <laughs> Countdown zone. All right. Let's hoop. Kyle Montgomery, the voice. Here it is, qualified draw, game number two. But we're in qualified draw B now. Qualified draw A actually got us started. O-U-S. Shot clock, uh, shot clock issue. DJ Last knows exactly what to play to get me singing. Quick whistle, foul black, too physical. Love the qualifying draw. Qualifying draw games. They're always intense. A fight to get into that main draw. See teams lay it all on the line. 
think that first game was an example. Who knows what we're going to get in this one. Easy set up and score. Coach Luke with that bucket. Two is off target. Quickly cleared. The yellow Leka. They want to get it down low again. I can already tell that he is going to be a problem. Christian Coach Luke. Big size, 206. Speaking of big size, Damien Sesniak. Sesniak stands 210. 210. That's a seven footer. At least I think so. So the bigs doing doing the dirty work. Bielo Leka out to a 2-0 lead on the strip of their interior towers. I'm not sure why you wait for the defender instead of just going up. Uh-oh. Class is in session. Three zip early. Bielo Leka. Some big boys. They need the Serbian surgeon to start dissecting. He's got to go to work. Savage's pass is deflected back. Wuhan still looking for that first bucket. They got to slow down this offensive attack first, and that will not help. Drip drop from deep. Yulaleka lead a five zip. Jan Pilishuk, by the way, on that last two piece. Time free throw for Haran Huang. He's too strong on it. Wuhan is not helping their cause. And it goes from bad to worse as another bucket is added. Billy Shuk getting the job done. 5 point advantage remains. Yellow Leka can add to it here. Yellow Leka is Again, out of Poland, playing downhill, utilizing their bigs. They are bruisers, each of them. They don't recover defensively. A savage will get on the board. Seven to two, though. We saw in the first qualifying draw game a five-point lead for the Poles, and the Dutch came back and won it. Wuhan's going to have to try to do the same thing. Good defense. After the spin, offensive rebound. So a second chance to get it done. That was a big uh, jab step. Meantime, Savage. Whoa. That was the enemy. That was friendly fire. We're going to have to look at the replay on that. Foul on the floor, that won't count. But I believe Wuhan's third score was thanks to a Bialoleka player. Milishuk gives it up to get it back. Milishuk, he can hoop. Shoot one here. Jan Pilishu, 23 year old, start to emerge for Bialoleka and Setia. They maintain a five point lead. Savage, Swiss delicious. No choice but to foul. That's a. 
That's just a, a, a assignment that's proven to be too difficult. Damian Ketchniak, again the seven footer, and Christian Kozluk on this Viola Leka Setia team. And Wuhan do not have a matchup for either one of them, and they've been exploiting it. Five point lead to show for it. Pull up. Ain't hey, no rebound. Foul call on Black. Number four. Savage patiently waiting to get this offense ignited. That is the second two ball. Wow. Oh, nice has he moves. Neil Aneka. The lead, though, has been cut down thanks to the surgeon. The surgeons get some assistance. Oh, that's not going to help the cause. That last two, by the way. Uh, Sing me out, you. For this Wuhan team. Free throw bottoms. Looks like a repeat of the previous game. Wuhan looked like they were about to be blown out. But the two ball makes a big difference and trimming the lead down to one. Iso got to do something with three to shoot. Gets to the cup, but no bucket. Billy shoot with the scoop. Nope, give me that back in the big fella. He, he dunks it. It comes out though. What? Oh, uh, this might be the first time I've ever seen this. So you can see the dunk looked like it was going to be good, but it got spit out the bottom. Ten nine. Quick step. Oh, I was gonna say, yep, whistle. Too much contact on the wrist. So we could be looking at an even game. If Yan Hao Liu can knock it down, he can. 10 10. Nice comeback here for Wuhan. Can they close the deal? That dunk is good. So Ketsniak will catch the rebound. Ketsniak going back to work. He was robbed of a dunk a couple of plays ago. And he hits the soft touch shorty to make it 12 10. Oh, put on the brakes and broke him off some. I ain't mad at it. 12 11. Here we go. Back and forth. Each team trade shot for shot. Rebound. Goes to black. We got to get into their offense here with five seconds to shoot. Why not? Way out there. What you know about rolling down in the D? Three point contest. Whistle before the shot. No basket. Foul black, seventh. On Biela Leka is Setia. Timeout. They want to they wanna talk about it. Their three point lead could be a one point lead, depending on what happens at the stripe after the break. 
But each team have had runs to start the game. It was Bialo Leka for the first several minutes dominate this Wuhan team. It was 6-1 before they could blink. And since then, Wuhan has gone on a 10 to 8 run to pull within three points. So here's the surgeon. Marco Savage, gold medal winner at the World Cup in 2012, 2016, 17, and 18. European champ in 2018 and 19. Got a couple of silvers at the World Cup and Europe Cup, 14 and 16 as well. And he's got his team within one. Savage with a rejection. Marco to Machado. In the, looks like in the neck or the chin region. You see the surgeon, he goes down. I think they're gonna take a look at it. Could be, could be a foul and even upgrade it to uh, unsportsmanlike if it's deemed to be a dangerous play. And most of the time when you see a player get, get struck above the neck, even if it's unintentional uh, by the rule book, it's usually upgraded to an unsportsmanlike. It's because we want to discourage any any type of actions that could hurt hurt a player. Certainly a serious injury. The higher above the neck you go, you don't want to see it. So official vets go will check it out at the scores table and make a decision here in a, in a one-point game. 425 left. Qualifying draw action in your face. The voice in your ear. DJ Lass in your ear too. Yeah. Where's Royer when you, where's Cos uh, Petrescu? Hey, thank you to our local sponsors as well. Arrow C Training, Cadena. City Park, where are we coming at you from? CSM Constanza, Curatini Profi. A lot of hands on deck, all hands on deck. To put on this first ever Constanza Masters. So two free throws. Uh, the decision was on Savage was not to uh, not to give him an upgrade to an unsportsmanlike. Didn't even get the get the foul. So apparently he might have been taking us out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sixteen thirteen. What well, about you? I like it as wow. 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 Recovering the score. 17-13. Wuhan back on their heels a little bit. Oh, look at that lane navigation. Beautiful move. Shimi Ayu. Shimi Ayu holds his ground. Offensive foul called on Black for shoving with the off arm. Take another look. But look. Look at the basket weaving that we're seeing here. Savage trying one of his ridiculous dimes. TV timeout. I mentioned earlier that Savage might be the most underrated player ever. Just because he was, I mean, he's on a team with with Dejan Maisorovic, Dusan Bullet with Novi Sad for so long. Uh, obviously the star of that show was, was Dusan Bullet. But not only Savage and uh, Maisorovic, but Marco Judero was huge in, in that team's success back then. 
But Savage, a lot of people will tell you that Savage, some of those years might have been the best, might have been the best player. Seventeen, fifteen. They want to get it down to the post office, but wait a second. Stuck in the paint too long. Three in the key. Both teams with eight fouls. Three twenty-nine to go. Serge is trying to navigate to the rim, but a foul called on Black. This game very likely will be decided at the free throw line. Two free throws coming up. Shi Miao Yu, 23's had a good game for Wuhan. They need these free throws for certain. Bieloleka with nine fouls, so a tenth will put them in the double penalty. That's something else to keep an eye on as the second free throw trickles in. 17 apiece. Step through. Oh, missed it. Right at the rim. Savage faking, dishing. Has he pull up 15 foot money? Got Hao Liu with the last bucket. A swipe through, shot attempt on the baseline is a no go from Ketchniak. Savage, soft touch. 1917. Wuhan. Uh oh, it's all even. This kid got more game than EA. Pillar shoot. Has it 19 19. 231 to go. Couple of good ones to start the day here in the qualifying draw. Maybe it's just something about Constanza. Villa shoot can shoot the pill. <laughs> Who you got? We are neck and neck in this 10 minute sprint to 21. Score the one. All right. The Serbian, he will drop it off. That would miss. Savage will track it down. He wants the screen. The two from long range. Wuhan. They got two on the check. 22. They needed 21, but they snatched 22. Kian Hao Nu wins it for Wuhan. Bielo Leka had jumped out to that early lead and looked like they were going to be in the driver's seat all the way through. But Wuhan had something to say about that. At the horn, 22 to 20. A Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. Wow, couple of couple of suspenseful games. Twenty-two to twenty. Another thriller. Look back at the Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. Hand down, man down, as my man Mark Jackson likes to say. Yan Hao Lu for two. And Wuhan proved to be too much for Bialoleka Isetia.
All right, enjoy the highlights from this one as we get reset for qualifying draw A action returning. Podgorica, Kodio, and Ostro BM on deck. Coming your way in just a minute. Here we are in Constanza, Romania for the very first time. What a beauty, beautiful shot. Beautiful city off the Black Sea here on the southeastern coast of Romania. If my geography is correct. They don't pay me for geography. They pay me to call the games. And we got another one right in front of us right now. Podgorica, Kodio, and the Poles. Trying to get back to it, Ostro BM. So out they come. First, Kodorica. Drago Yudic. Marko Rajcevic. Milos Jovanovic and Rajcevic Ivanovic. Podgorica, Kodio. And the other team has just been a tiny challenge. We're at 16. Team Oslo, BM. We're at number three. Let us go for the yes team. Now we'll see how they, can, how they will fare against Oslo, BM. Yes, Kapac. Peter Kerr, Karpac, Peasant Slaw, Dionysi, Thomas Davis, and Michael and Money in the bank hit. Here we are, and here we go. Huddles. Chatted up before this game begins. Our captains are in place for the coin flip. Our second look at Ostro PM after losing a heartbreaker. In game number one, it's Team Ute. So we'll see if they will respond. They have to. If they don't, they're going to be in trouble. So our two officials in this one, by the way, Brigitte, Chavai, Kaskutu, and Vlad Gizderainu, also known as Vlad Gizderainu. There we go. It's Philip Dragojevic. 21 years old. We'll see if, if it's the youth or the experience. The 3x3 OG himself, Money. Trying to make his way to the main draw and his team in a must win situation after dropping by just one to a unforgiving Utrecht team. Who would just not go away? Found a way to pull it out. Only one team can advance. All right, here we go. Australia will start with the ball. 
Money getting some pressure. He's going to get, going to draw a foul. Time out. Starts it. Money off the glass. Ostro BM. Trying to D up now. Ojo Padgorica. Gonna start it from the elbow here. They feel like they have an advantage on the inside. Apparently, they don't just feel like it. They do. Ivanovic gets the score. Trying to respond right back. I like the interior game from Prism Slaw Stoniewski. They're right back at you. They're going to make it happen. Milos Jovanovic. A proven hooper. I think he's going to be the, the difference maker, the X factor for this Pargorica Corio team. Davis is going to reroute. Davis dribble. Puts it up. Missed it. Strong rebound. Man, he is everywhere like Adams right now. Some inspiring play from Stoniewski. Little drop off will give him a good look. A couple of good looks. And third time apparently is the charm. Jovanovic is able to tip it up and in. It's a 3-3 game. Pokorica letting it fly. That one comes up shy. Jovanovic getting his team in the right position to get a good look. They don't come away with the two-piece. Offensive rebound, though, will keep him alive. And a runner off the glass will put him in front. Stoniewski wanted the whistle. He does not get it. Thomas with the steal. Tada. Down low. Easy bucket. All even. Four piece. Must win situation for Ostro BM. As Padgorica do not clear it. Did not step beyond the two point arc fully with one foot and at least lift the other. So the possession will go back over to Black. Hicks is back in the game for Ostro BM. Davis passes up to, to look at two. He's able to draw a foul. They'll start again. Davis, oh, poked away, stolen. That one's cleared. Oh, I'm not sure what happened defensively there. Stoniewski was looking back at the official instead of playing defense. There's Money. Money. Deep two, no. Money, one-legged fade, cash. Five apiece. Polkorica getting some good looks, but have not been able to connect much from long range. Offensive rebounds are keeping them alive. There's a foul called on Davis. Second on the Ostro BM. Hicks going back to work up top, defensively at least. A wide open look. Got to knock those down. Instead, he touches absolutely nothing. That's a foul, but my goodness, the first I thought he was, I thought Jovanovic was gonna get dunked on. He and Karpaz have a meeting on the top floor. And Jovanovic sent him back down to ground level. You can't come up here. 
but he gets called for the foul. Free throw will be the result. Borgorica will have another game after this. This will be the last, last one. Or Ostro BM, whether or not it's the last one of the day, we're gonna find out. But Borgorica will play play against Utrecht in the final game in this pool, pool A. So one free throw coming up for Peter Carpaz. 25-year-old. Will miss with a rebound. Davis, count that. And Pogorizzo struggling to hit from long range. That one slips out of Hicks's hands. So here we go. Ostro, nursing a one-point lead. Yeah. Jovanovic, why not? Wow. The two-stroke puts Podgorica up one. Whistle on the block. Podgorica closing, getting close to the to the penalty. But look at Jovanovic. Nothing but you know what. Straight on. Wow. Because money in the bank. Oh, he shuffled those feet. Cease. Gets Wilson for the foul. I mean, for the travel, excuse me. Uh, 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 uh. Pesky defense. Trying to get rid of it. They do down low. Jovanovic. He will deliver the package. Pargorica leading by two. Here comes money. Hicks puts it up, misses everything. Desperation heave late in the shot clock. Ostra BM need to refine their offensive touch. Podgorica doing a good job exploiting the mismatches that they have on the cut. Moving the ball and getting good looks in the offense. Like that one right there. The double goes down. Podgorica go up by four. That last two ball by Ivanovic, Petr Ivanovic. Oh, dime delivery. Uh, 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 10 7. So just a, a three-point game. Ostro, the, the team trying to fight their way back this time. Wasn't that wasn't like that in game number one. High art on the two. No. Davis put that man on suspension. Beautiful move. Passes thrown out. Looks like the possession will go back over to Ostro BM. But take another look. Oh, first the cross was just filthy. He almost made him do the James Brown splits. I saw the spin move, not the crossover. What? Anyway, it's a 10-9 game. Those Ostro BM have climbed back in it. Now they're the ones showing the grit. Again, after having one snatched from their hands by Utrecht, Money sees that one roll off the iron. Quick ball movement here for Podgorica as they will start their attack. He just hit it two, decides to give it up. Jovanovic has it poked away. Nice find on the cut. Milos Jovanovic will put Podgorica up 11-9 as a result. Down in the post and a quick answer 
as Carpaz gets active, stolen away from Davis. So we've seen Podgorica make some of those mistakes, turning the ball over here in recent possessions. And Ostro BM is taking advantage of it. They find themselves in an 11-11 game. He's out here thieving, robbing and stealing is Thomas Davis. Got to be up to four, three or four steals in this game. That man's a bandit. Davis. Tough shot late in the shot clock. So second TV timeout is in front of us here. Another competitive game. I'm liking what I'm seeing in the qualifying draw. What y'all think? Hit me up. If you want if you number one, if you watch an early qualifying draw, I think you deserve a shout out. Hit me up at 3x3 the voice. At 3x3 the voice. I'm gonna give you a shout out. Here we go. Uh-oh. Making the move. Drops it down low and Jovanovic has been on a kill streak within eight feet of that bucket. He has been automatic, but so has that man. And he's stronger than pneumonia right now. Takes the bump and gets the score. First the Jovanovic, and then it was Prism Slaw, Stoniuski. Nope, that's not right. Stoniuski. There we go. Stadeski gives him a, a one-point advantage. 3.30 and to go here. Ostrow do have a defensive collapse. Hicks. Shot that one up from Warsaw. Came up short. Stays at a deadlock, 13-13. Crossover kick, good look from the corner. Davis will corral the rebound. Thomas had a great game. He will attack, off balance, falls away. Nope, left it short. And they have had their opportunities. That one tipped in. Again, the twos have just not been going. But they'll take the one-point lead, that's for sure. This dude is getting to it. This dude is getting to it. So Niski, deserving, deservingly, he's going to get a rest here. There's another highway robbery from Thomas Davis. He can't deliver the goods. He will get it back and elevate. And Osro up 15 to 14. We've seen each team in front, trailing, fighting back. We see more changes than puberty brings. Somebody's got to win it. Somebody's got to grow up. Black, that is number five on Australia. One point lead. That's one. Oh, that was in my hands. Do I pass or shoot?
Jovanovic stepped back, got some space. Rebound. Goes to Green, gets the score. It's even. 15s. Buck 55. Davis has it poked away. Ostro BM in desperate need of a win. If they hope to advance to the main draw, we will find out right here, right now. Hicks. Deep. No. Margarita, downhill attack. Getting a lot of looks on driving and kicking. That drive comes up empty. Thomas Davis will clear it himself. TD. Down low, that is going to be a bucket for show. Carpaz has put him in front by one. Thomas Davis is robbing him blind. But money is going broke. He need a loan. That one point lead is gone too. 16 up, Davis drives right, spins free, steps through, excuse me, no, excuse you. After the layup miss, this is a big two attempt and a big hit, big hit, Dragojevic. Money will respond, says you can't check me, cash only. 18 up. Another two attempt is no good. That one poked out. They ball is ruled out of bounds on Ostro BM. But target practice from the left wing proves to be good. Dragojevic sees his two answered by Hicks at the top of the key. So the officials are actually going to take a closer look at it. Obviously a critical decision on whose possession uh, that this will be. But Ostro BM feel like it should be their ball. Initially ruled Podgorica rock. The suspense is building as the game has intensified here in the qualifier draw. That coveted one spot in the main draw is at stake. You can take a closer look. And from that angle, it looked like it was swiped out of Hicks's hands. I don't know if he got a fingernail on it or what, but it looks like right, Ostro BM is setting up as though if they, they have the possession offensively. Now, if the footage is deemed unclear, then the call will call on the floor will stand. Nope. It's actually Podgorica ball. Hicks touched it last. So here we go. 25 seconds to go in an 18-18 tie. Podgorica with the rock. Here they come on the drive. Ooh. Great def defense on the baseline. And what a game so far for, Pr for Prism Slaw Stonewski. Can he and his team cap this with a dub? Thomas, is it money time? No, misses it. Hicks will not get the rebound. They will get a look. The shot is blown. One more shot. Thomas Davis for the dub. No. Overtime. First team to score two and OT wins it. It's been one of those games. I'm not sure if Davis had hit this, it would have counted either anyway. Looked like he might have released it late to me, but that's water under the bridge now. Not even worth discussing. It's all about here and now, NOT. Ostro BM got to win and got to win now.
Podgorica with one more game on the slate against Utrecht. Austro BM are done if they lose this one here. Here we go. Podgorica start with it in all OT. Both teams will be defending the two-point arc fierce, fiercely. That foul on the floor, that's number six on Ostro. They got no more to give, either team. Here we go. Rice it's to the go. Got it swatted. Oh man, he's blocking everything. Oh my goodness. He's protecting the rim like his cell phone password. You cannot get in. A series of block shots underneath. Incredible defensive stand for Peter Carpaz. Money time for two. No. Carpaz with the rebound. Oh, no. All that defense, but no offense. Then the two. This would be for the win. You better believe it. Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater at the hands of that man, Milos Jovanovic. Puts the final nail in Austro BM's coffin. What a game. And an incredible overtime period, but you won't get a shot easier than that. And a clutch, clutch two ball. Milos Jovanovic. And Podgorica will be fighting with Utrecht for a spot in the main draw. Austro BM are done here in the qualifiers. Whoa. That was that was fun to watch. It was another thriller. Another thriller. But it put an overtime victory. Portorita put Ostro BM away. I'm gonna put the microphone away for a second and let you just enjoy the, the sights and sounds of that 10 minute sprint. It's actually more than a 10 minute sprint because we went to OT. You'll see in the highlights. Enjoy. More qualifying draw action coming your way next. Qualifying draw B. Kupan and Bialoleka Isetia on deck from here in Constanza. You from Constanza. I told you, Coupon and Biololeka Esetia would be on the way, and here they are. Biololeka Esetia trying to bounce back after a two point loss to Wuhan in their first game. It's our first look at uh, Coupon. But we will, uh, we will see what they will bring. First, let's see who's going to be playing. Out comes Coupon. Representing Serbia. That is quite the hairstyle, sir. That's Milan Milosevic. He's joined by number one, Ivan Sajic. Number four, Philip Paoli. And number three, Nikola Dasic. Another introduction for the Aloleka and Setia. 
Michal Wojtecki. Christian Kozluk. Jan Pilosjuk. And Damien Sechnia. Must win situation for Bialoleka Isetia. Again, if you're just joining us, a reminder for you that only the top teams of each qualifying draw group moves on to the main draw. Main draw pool C, Ralph Alvarez Hop Trains. I got a tangle with the Monstar. And his uh, Ralph Alvarez squad who's been balling. Here we go. And a warm hello and welcome to our two officials in this one. Brigitte Chibai, Kashkutu, and Najib Shahid Najadin. There we go. Shahadin. <laughs> it's early. Please give me some coffee. Give me, get me some coffee. All right, hope you're having fun. We, we're making our way through the qualifying draw. I've witnessed some good games and some good young talent. There's Nikola Tashic. He's one of the young players that have shown some signs, some real potential. And this young fellow right here, he was hooping, even, even in a loss. Hillishu, 23 years old. Definitely some signs of greatness with this young dude. All right, second, second game in this qualifying draw in front of us right now. Qualifying draw, B action. Back in your face, the voice is in your ear. Let's go. All right, 10 minutes have begun. Let's get it on. Starting with a early foul, quick. Stop the grabbing. Wide open lane, nobody there to defend. Dupont would like a lot more of that. That was Nikola Tasic with that bucket. They want to feed the beast, the big. Shot is too strong. Six seconds to shoot. Flip to the corner, drive and kick. They got to get it up, and they do for the rush shot. And those begging. Scoop the doop. Easy work right there. Drive on the baseline, threw it in reverse on it. Nice score right there. Ivan Sajic. 2 1 start. Man. You know all about, if you watch 3 x 3 you know all about the legacy that Serbia has in the game. And even the, even the young teams, the new teams, have a solid grasp of the, of the fundamentals and some of the nuances about the game. Dupont are hoping to be maybe the next dominant Serbian team. They are young though, as I mentioned. But well, one half of them are young. Nilo Savic is 38. There's Tasic. 3-2, wide open shooter, why not? He drops it like it's hot from the left wing, two ball. Get the ball to Pili Sukin, if you want to win. Nice move. 
10 footer off the square. You bet. Billy's you to the crib, gonna miss that one. Rebound. Because the guys in green. Swung over, coupon. Grupania and Bialoleka all even at 4-4. Let the big boys work. Jump hook. Says Chiang. Gets it to go. Up oh, fake. No choice but the foul. Get the, he gets the whistle. Official Chahideen says yes. Complete the two point play. It's Bayovich, but he, if that pay off, 5 5, it'll stay. Got a whistle before the shot, I believe. Foul off the ball. Our officials will discuss if that two should should count. But Ivan Saicic making a case that that ball was released. I don't know if it was released just before the whistle or no, no bucket. I thought it was a little bit late, so he won't get what he had hoped for. Foul off the ball against Bieloleka. So Kupanya will start again. Here we go. 5-5. Five, five. Constanza Masters. Qualifying draw action. Just to start the day. Things are going to heat up once we get to the main draw, but there's a battle in front of us to get there. Two teams will earn a spot. The runner. Nice shot. Milos Milosevic. Good D at the rim. For Vince to make. Milosevic. Drops it off, hangs and hits. Dashic. Two is too strong. Good activity underneath to get the rebound. Milosevic will set the table. And Tashic is feeding. TV timeout time. Got a pretty good game going here. Bialoleka is set here in a must-win situation. Grupania, though, has been picking them apart with the back dough. Eight-five contest. We've seen some steady scoring in this one. In this sprint to 21. We'll see if that pace continues. The shots are going up freely from beyond the arc. That one doesn't fall. Oh, hitting with the hezzy. Hitting with the hezzy. Foul's call. No choice but to. Nice move. Milosevic is back in. Nice ball movement there. Looks like they're trying to feature Tashic in the offense right now. He's got a few buckets for him. Came up empty on the last one. Three-point game is 
Well, we're stuck at for the moment. Got stuck in traffic. Offensive rebound, though, will pay off. Sestiniak has it 8-6, and he's also got the rebound. Yolaneka with possession. Kupanya have done a good job not fouling defensively. Oh, give me those. And Arshavich with the thievery swings it. Saitis, why not? Let the two fly, but it ricochets off the left iron. And one broken up on the inside. Again, this action coming at you at the City Park Mall here in Constanza on a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful Saturday here on the coast of Romania. Trying to pass up the two and give us a VIP pass instead. What a way to set the table. Ivan Saitic putting on a show for his team. They got a three-point advantage. Still cannot stop that tower of a man, Damian Sechniak. Wide open look straight on and straight in. Money. So Tashic has been giving a, a heavy dose throughout this game, 11 to seven. As we have a timeout on the floor, just past the midway point. Groupon trying to send Biololeka back home to Poland. And join Austral BM, who was the last team we saw just uh, get eliminated just the previous game. So the two Polish teams, one already out and another one on the brink unless some things change. It's 11 to seven, not out of reach, but Rupania have looked, looked like the stronger team so far, have been the aggressor, have certainly shot it better from beyond the two point arc and they got the rock to start. Tough time corralling him. And another one's going to go up. A miss, but a rebound. Draws the foul. So Nikola Tashic has been so active. So active, in fact, that he needs a rest. Milosevic is in. The ball will start up top with Ivan Saicic. Break on two. And that ball was bashful. Came up shy. And go back over to Biololeka. Left wing, air mail. Biololeka just need to find some Something they can go to offensively that's going to be consistent. Jan Pilashuk has been quiet recently, too. First step got there quickly, but missed it at the crib. Here's Pilashuk. Perky, jerky. Hashtag stay shifty. 11 and 8. Milosevic, no. His curls got in the way, he couldn't see. Oh, get out of the way. The big bruiser, Zesniak, makes it 11 and 9. Another 
a look at the last couple of scores. There's the big fella bumping and grinding and finishing with the jump hook. 11 to 9 again is where we stand. 349 left in the game. Bieloleka not only trailing by two points, but they are in the penalty defensively. So that won't help their cause as they try to come back and get a must win to stay alive for a chance to play in the main draw. We, we'll, we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Yes, we will. First of two free throws. Second of two is good too. So that two point game is now turned into a four point game. With a swipe from behind, Milosevic. So clearly out of bounds off of green. Vialoleka will reset. Where is the offense gonna come from? Well, not from long range right now. Milosevic. Oh, that was taken. And bang. It was Kuzluk on that last dunk. 13 to 10. Shaggy from the right wing. No. Then Shaggy gets whistled for the foul. I like Slim Shaggy. That's a good nickname, what do y'all think? Slim Shaggy? <laughs> 13 10 games. Each team trade misses. 250 and counting. Grabanya going inside. That foul. Nope. Is that bucket going to count? Does, no basket does not get continuation. So official Najib Chajanin says no. But he will get two free throws. Four-point game. Trying to make it a five-point game, and that he does. So the free throw, free throws have been paying off for Kanye as well, helping extend his lead. I say it all the time. Games are won and lost at the charity stripe. And they've been handling their business. And they keep a firm grip around Bialoleka's neck with a 16-10 advantage. So Looks like Bialoleka will be heading, heading home. 227 left. Unless some things change in a hurry. Possession Bielo Lecca. Looks like Pillashuk and Slim Shaggy are getting into it a little bit. Pillashuk shoots the pill, misses at that time. Rebound goes to Slim Shaggy. Turning the corner, elevating and missing that time, although. He has had a good game. 
Speaking of Nikola Tashic, there's an easy bucket for Bialoleka Isetia. Wojtinski gets him within five. Good look, does not go down. There go that man again. He been so cash, he got his own currency. Nice dunk as re a response, but Kupanya are putting it on him right now. And it's got a hell of a lot to do with Nikola Tashic in this game. Here's Bailovich. Get it to the hot hand. Tashic will hand it off. He's got it back. Oh, man, this man is on fire. Nikola Tashic. Game point for his squad. So a bucket that will make it a little bit more respectable. But they're going to get it to the man that is absolutely ablaze. He's an arsonist, and he just burned the house down. 22-13, Nikola Tashic. Incredible shoot display by this young fella. The 23-year-old is absolutely strapped. So that's it for BLO Leka and Setia. They're done. But Kupan, what will they do against Wuhan? As they will both battle it out for a, for a spot in the main draw. We got two qualifying draw games left. Utrecht, Pokoritsa, Kodio are up next, followed by Wuhan and Kupan. And the main draw will be decided. So take a look at the highlight reel. You're gonna see a lot Oh, that, that a young fella, Nikola Tosic, in this game, absolutely shot the lights out. All right, I'll take a quick little breather before we get to our next contest. It's coming, coming your way pretty quickly. We also have our shootout qualifications uh, coming up here. Find out the top four counters that will be competing in a two-point shootout final come tomorrow. So just stick around. We got a whole lot more coming your way, y'all. Sakorio and Utrecht. Both squads pulling out close wins over Ostro BM. Now they will fight for the first spot in the main draw. Here we go. Eronimus Vandonis, Lino Vinadin, Nesta Agassi, and Ulushei Adetunyi. And tough, tough game. They were down, down against Ostro BM by five points twice. And still managed to come back and get a dub in that game. Had to dig deep. They're hoping that this one is going to be easier. Took overtime for uh, Pocorita Corio to get past Ostro BM. But they, uh, they won it 20 to 18 in the OT period. Milos Jovanovic is able to knock down the kill shot. Now they come back. And the winner gets in, playing for 40 grand. We're going to find out what 
each of these teams have. But they got to lay it on the line here. This is this is time to empty the tank. We can refuel later. Point, flip it up before we get to it, as is customary. There's Vladimir Veskovich and Vlad Gisdriadu. They will officiate this last qualifying draw game in Pool A. All right, let's get it on. I'm ready. Should be a good one. Play in game to the main draw. A couple of players to keep an eye on. That was just three. A quick peek inside the Utrecht huddle. Trying to be the second Dutch team to play in the in the main draw. Amsterdam High Pro. We'll see them in full B action later. All right. Last taste of draw A. They know. I guess he was surprised at how open he was. Yeah, Missed the crib. Geronimus will hand it over. First foul on Pogorica. Only 15 seconds in. Crossover. Two up, two long. High rebound goes to Black. They want to clear some space. Let that man operate. Jovanovic fires the pass out, but it goes off the fingers of Ivanovic. He wasn't ready. Back dope cut. Setting up Vitavin. Vitavin has really improved on his ability to slash. He used to primarily shoot a bunch of twos. Speaking of shooting twos, that double is money. Oh, a gossy. Uh, hit him with the hee hee. Michael Jackson spin moves in the paint. You know he's bad. Nesta Agassi. Gonna shoot the free throw as the officials give the scores table a thumbs up. Shout out to Radu. Crossover. We cannot see over the skyscraper. He swats that one away. Running out of time, got to do something. Not that. Turned over, so that's insult to injury. Not only turning it over, but then committing the foul. So, out of two, the 24 year old with the fin on the left wing. And he's going to get whistled for another foul. So back to back fouls on Adetumi. Not a great sequence for the young man. But that's all right. Marko Rajevic at the strike. Nah. Stays where it's at. 2 2. Oh. It just went from bad to worse. He tried to get too cute on the baseline. 
They might need to make a substitution. 2-2 two -two is where it will stay. Oh, now everybody missing layups. It's contagious out here, apparently. So Nagasi will check out. Adetunyi wants to come out after doing this. You know what? I just need to think about it for a second. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it's a 2-2 two -two game. And just two minutes in, Hieronymus does not get the package delivered. Broken up. Got a shooter up top. Is he going to shoot it? Yeah, he is. Is he going to make it? No. Rebound. Hieronymus directing traffic. Get out there. You go over there. Give it to me here. Back the list. Oh, that, nice cut. Nice score. That's Delgassi. Oh. Full speed collision right there. Three to two. Have a look at that. Nice slip to the bucket. The awareness from the audience to find him. As you put track up by one. Uh oh, up to. Oh, he's finished with the scoop. Easy drive and an easy score. Nobody there to stop Ivanovic. Leno was open for a while. He decides to pull it anyway with the defense. Bill. Look at Agassi flying in there. He cannot complete the score. Point blank miss there. Jovanovic couldn't get it to go. So just over three minutes in. Seen a dip in the scoring from both of these teams. And Benevin was broke, broke on that attempt. Jovanovic trying to bully Nagasi. That one is missed. Here's Nagasi. Turns the corner quickly. Shows some great touch. Uh-oh. Got caught up on the screen. Hit him with the stop and go. But the presence of, of Euronimus underneath the rim. It's scary. It's frightening. Oh, the man got moves. Gets the shot to fall 6-3. First team to time out in a 6 3 contest. And congratulations again to, uh, to the Netherlands. The Netherlands women taking a gold medal at the Europe Cup for the very first time. And I probably had not even set in yet. Just a couple days ago when we saw that. I wonder if Maya and Noah are watching. Back in uh back home in Utrecht. Maybe. Score on the inside. My end. What's up girls if you are watching? Oh, Agassi. We won't get it to go. Six to four to stay. It's not the prettiest of games. I'm just gonna keep it. I gotta keep it a buck. I can't even hold you. Two point contest. Bit of it. Bringing everything he got. It wasn't a lot. 
with the foul. Six bomb contest. By the list, and Vinavin will share to Wilson. Vinavin, two ball corner, no. Shout out to, where's Barbosa? Barbosa came and said hello. He just left me a second ago. Barbosa's missing the action. What's up, Barbosa? Oh, put him in the blender, but the score is prevented from a foul. Swipe from behind. Happens to be the fourth on Puerto Rico. Speaking of the Dutch. And there went Benevin straight to the crib. Little fader, mid paint. Nice touch on that one. Y Yovanovic seems to be the Number one scoring option for Puerto Rico. They trail it by one. Rajevich will draw the foul. Like moving the paint. So Puerto Rico. Have, uh, have hit from that the middle of the paint last couple of possessions they're finding some success on that area of the floor that reverse is going to go so out of duty making up for some of the blunders earlier i'm not trying to stay on his back good player they, they certainly could use him now in a 9-9 tie So second and final TV timeout. We're under four minutes to go. Nine-nine tie. This is this four spot in the main draw. Some of the highlights in this one. As both teams got up to relatively slow starts offensively. Certainly not on pace to reach the 21 point mark. Under four to go in a, in a brawl. Oh, Vardulis, he was just pretending. Fake the, sh fake the uh, defender, didn't make the shot. Agassi. Oh, utilizing that spin move well. Great touch. That time off the left side of the square. Oh, he just got dusted. Quick first step. Leads to the score. That evens things up at 10 apiece. Right, Jay, bitch. Oh, Fondolis gets undercut. Bucket will go as well. Six foul of Puerto Rica. So a chance for two. Coming up. Wonderless. No. Game like this. You gotta make gotta make use of those, those opportunities at the line. Behind the line too. And stroke wasn't stroking. Meantime he's streaking to the bucket. Ivanovic will draw the whistle. Sixth on Utrecht. 3.04 left in this contest, and we'll see if Pogorica can make some free throw, or a free throw this time. Let's get it started in here. Nope, they can't do it either. That's a shove. 
Yo, Vanovic, he said, go on me. Yes. Two free throws. That's number seven on Pogorica. Menno, emphasis on the no. Back to back misses at the line. 11 to 10 is where it'll stay. He ain't staying, he's gone. Quick first move, straight to the cup. Dragojevic has it even at 11 apiece. Can Leno make up for his trip to the strike? All strings. No deep in, oh my goodness. Somebody call that man an Uber, you gotta go. You can't miss those. Little after missing two free throws, he's able to knock down the deep two. Nice jump up on the interior and the steal, but he stepped on the line. So a 13-12 game, Utrecht will take over possession. Fade away, no, not that time. Oh, two ball. Big stroke, I told you, Milos Jovanovic is that man. And he's on a 3-0 run by himself to put Pogorica up 15 to 13. Drive and kick, Agassi makes the move. Double Dutch, 15 up. Buck 40 to go, oh I like your cut G. Nice setup, Ivanovic. Gives his team a slim advantage with a buck 30 to play. Ida Tuni. Ida Tuni off balance. He will miss it. Loose ball will. I think it's going to be green. Should be a new shot clock. Yeah. Yeah, green ball. Fresh 12. They'll get it reset here. And Leno, he just hit a big deuce. Misses that one. Look. Vanderlis is literally standing on his tippy toes grabbing rebounds. It's ridiculous. I think I'm going to change his nickname to Size Matters. Do y'all co sign on that? <laughs> Vanderlis' nickname, Size Matters. <laughs> oh, I got to laugh. I got to laugh out of Esteban Gonzalez. That might, we might have to lock that one in. <laughs> neck and neck. It's a dead heat with one minute to go and his 10 minute sprint to to the main draw. That's what this is. It's a 10 minute sprint to the main draw. Agassi, patient on the defense before batting it. Oh, but then he turns it over. A little step back, create some space, get to the cup with the quickness, but Rajovic lost the handle on it. Maybe let's see if he had some help. Oh, no, he didn't. He touched that last. That should be green ball. Wait. Yeah. I see the Leno. Oh, Leno. He had a wide open lane. Decided to try to kick it. I think he should have took the layup there. But, hell, what do I know? I just talk a lot. 
30 seconds. Jovanovic, teardrop. Step back. Way short. Agassi will snag the rebound. Five seconds to shoot. Utrecht need to get one up. What are they? Why are they taking so long? And they run out of time. Podgorica will be going on to the main draw. As Utrecht just kind of glitched. I don't know if they didn't understand the, the clock situation or what, but they needed to get a shot up to tie or, or to win. And they do need them. Whoa, that was a shocking, shocking way to end this one. 17-16, Pocorica, Corio are going to go into the main draw. Wow. So look at the highlights from this one. I don't know if you're watching from the Netherlands, you might be wanting to look away. Probably a little frustrated at the way that that game ended. And Utrecht just not understanding where the clock stood. I, that's that's my assumption. I don't know. But a close game throughout. But Pocorito, the team that's going to be moving on. We got one more qualifying draw game to go, y'all. Wuhan and Kuprania are on deck. Qualifying draw B, which will decide the second team that will be going into the main draw. Joining Raldan Vara's hop trans in pool C. But it's coming your way in just a few moments. Stick around. All right, there's the uh, qualifying draw A and how it panned out, 2-0. 2-0, Pagorica, who fought past uh, Ostro BM in overtime and then a one-point victory over Utrecht, secures their spot. Only one remains. Two teams going at it, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, right here, right now. Wuhan with the Serbian legend, Marco Savage, and Kupan with a Serbian quartet. They all know Savage well. How well do they know his teammates? They can hoop too. All right, let's get reintroduced to our two competing teams. Looks like, looks like Wuhan is gonna come out first. Right, coming out in the green, Wuhan with number one, Haolan Huang, number two, Xian Hao Liu, Yu Xiamo. And the legend, the living legend. The surgeon, Marco Savage. Wuhan coming off a 22 to 20 win against Bialoleka uh, Esetia. That game was close. Uh, Kupan played a little bit better. And they handled them a, a slightly easier. They come out, black tops, green bottoms. Milik Pejovic 
Milosevic, Ivan Saicic, Mila Milosevic, Nikola Tashic. Tashic was an absolute flame thrower. That opening win. Ain't got to talk to nobody at Maurice Lacroix. He's the man to watch. All right, Najib Chajanin and Brigitte Jabai Gushkutu will officiate this last qualifying draw game. Get warmed up, and we'll get another look at the four-time World Tour final winner, World Cup champion, multiple times, three, I think three times. I have to look at my notes. Once you start getting the accolades, they start adding up. I can't keep track of all of them. They win, win too much. <laughs> He's won a lot over the years. Four, four World Championships. Two Euro, Euro Cup championships. There you go. It's a lot of medal for Marco Savage. And four World Tour final titles. So there you go. Final preparations being made here for this final qualifying draw game. Main draw will be set. Bye bye. Final qualifier draw game. Pool B. From here in Constanza. Wuhan and Kobanya. Going toe to toe here. Kyle Montgomery in your ear. Two ball is going to go up. It's going to ricochet off the iron. Lands in Wuhan's hands. Cleared quickly. They got some shooters on this squad. Liu is one of them. He will kick it up top. And the score on the drive. Yu Xiao. So look at Jimmy out. Streaking to the rim and scoring it. Good change of pace for there for him. for a dollar. Nice strokes. Ivan Saicic feeling it early. Top of the key, let's go. Oh, that one mishandled. Possession thrown away. Nice crowd here watching the qualifying draw action, seeing some of the main draw teams here. Antwerp top desk, Dennis the Menace Donker up there. Austria in the building too. Big time. Way off of the deep end like usual. The step back from Savage. Wuhan started off trailing in that first game against Biolo Lateca. They find themselves down three early here. Continue to, to have a stroke for fine. This time it's the it's Sychus that's doing the damage. Now Savage. 18 footer is a no-go. Up top. 
That one's shy. He ain't missed much in this game, but we'll call it up to the guys in green as we are nearing two minutes in. Grupanya leading 4-1. Likes that spot. That's his hot spot. You can get a taste. But Wuhan right on cue. And they need a big shot. You can see John Hao Lu setting up for two. In the previous 10 minute sprint, hit a couple from, from that exact spot. Time to Hot hand, Nikola Tashic. He will miss on his attempt. Lou is getting to it. Foul on his drive to the rim. He'll shoot one. Look at the, the contact on the shot. Twenty year old Lou. He will miss it at the line. Young player. A young team. Everybody under 23 outside of Marco Savage. Stroke wasn't stroking. Slim Shaggy couldn't, couldn't get the rebound. Instead, he's called for the foul. This is for it all. Podgorica, Kodio have once, uh, have snagged one spot in the main draw. The other one at stake right here. And a whistle up top, hack on the wrist. Dribble drive, lost it. Drop him up in. Six four. Savage, no. So Marco Savage also, when his team was down in the previous contest, he struck together a couple of big twos and kind of reignited Wuhan and pulled off the comeback to get it done. They need to call the doctor. Back to where we go. Kupanya leads by two. They've been the aggressors in this one. Still have not seen Nikola Tasic heat up. Slim Shaggy after Tasic all by himself. That's the one that will count as two. Tasic and Savage had a collision. Three seconds called in the paint. Yeah, Tasha just bleeding a little bit from the tongue. I think he bit bit the side of his tongue in that collision with Savage. Slim Shaggy. He was swinging. Slim Shaggy will let it fly. Nah. Cleaned up underneath. So Sajic, again, continues to lead the team in scoring. Rubania leading by five. Six minutes to go. Hey, he can't stop you right now. He's having it his way. Serbian, Dish. Milosevic, and rolls out. Gonna feed the hot hand. Oh. Got a foul. 
away from the ball. Obviously, the two was missed, but let's see where the whistle came from. Matter of fact, now let's see that dish from, from Savage first. Ten five contest, and we're getting closer to the midway point. Final game of the prelims, you could say. Savage just passed stolen. Trying to turn that defense into offense right here, right now. Why not? Uh oh. Here he comes now to Nikola Tashic. And he get his complete point total last game, but he had to have at least 10. He'll get it clear. Slim Shaggy. Chaching. 14 to 6. Kupanya is putting it on Wuhan. Oh, is that going to count? Basket counts. The continuation, and he will get official Chibai Kushkutu says so, and that will uh, that will put him on the line. Shoot just one. But an eight-point advantage. Stefania are stretching the lead on Wuhan here. Make that a nine-point lead. We've seen it happen before. Hell, most recently in the Europe Cup. Did y'all see the uh, the bronze medal game? Osmana scored 15, brings the team back from nine to win. I don't see no Batmans out here though. 17-9, Kupanya. They feel like they got this, this game well in control. Oh, nice, but now it's nice passing. Thread the needle. And the buckets are coming easy right now for Kupanya. No stroke on the two ball. Kupanya just taking their time. So much weaponry on this team. Bucket counts and a foul. TV timeout. And I believe that. That foul will put him in a penalty. I have to get a look again. Nope. It's just the fifth on Wuhan, but still another and one opportunity. Looks like Rupanya is going to be the second team to head to the main draw. Then in Pocorita Cordio. Free throw, bottoms. Krupanya need just one point, and they are, they're gonna get it. 337 to go. It ain't a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. And that time is right now. Game, set, match. Krupanya is through to the main draw. 21 to 10. That was as easy as taking candy from a baby. We'll see them in the main draw. Another legend is done in the qualifying draw stage. First, uh, Money in the Bank Hicks, and now Marco Savage. Credit to Wuhan, I mean to Kubania and Port Portgoritza, Cordio. Who will be featured in the main draw, Pool C, with Raudan Vada's Hop Trans. Highlights for you right here, right now. Great shoot display. And when you shoot it like they did from two range, not only are you going to win a lot of games, you're going to win them quickly. Still three minutes left on the clock when that one ended. And an impressive performance. 
Let's see how they do once they get to uh, the main draw. There's not a lot of teams that want to play by Don Bottas hot trans right now, but both of our qualifying draw teams will have to do just that. Battle with the Monstar and Uzupis, Vingalis and Modestus Corpus uh, in the main draw. I'm sure they were watching this action and scouting. They gotta be ready for this team. We'll find out if they will be. So we uh, we will have our two-point shootout qualification here before we get into the main draw. As you can see, they're set up 10 shots apiece. Top four scores will compete in the two-point shootout final for tomorrow. I'll jump off the mic for a bit and get you reset for the main draw. It's slated to start at about... 15 after the hour, so we're about a little less than 25 minutes away from getting it underway. Main draw here in Constanza, on the way. Don't go far for long. One more time, guys. Shoot the ball. Shoot out the